Hello, today we're looking at PolyWav files. So firstly, we're gonna explain what a PolyWav file is. Secondly, we're gonna explain why on earth do we need them? Because personally, I absolutely hate them. Thirdly, then we're gonna look at how to actually do them. Now you can skip to that bit if you want, but I feel understanding the first two is important but you might already know that. Anyway, so what is a PolyWav file? Well, we have mono, which is one channel of audio in a file. We have stereo, which is two channels left and right within a file. And then we have PolyWav, which is basically three plus channels or bits of audio within one single file. Now, why might we need that? Well, me as a composer, a lot of my clients actually like me delivering the stems as a polywav file. So uh, stems being uh, maybe I have a track with strings, woodwind, percussion, and brass. They want each of those on separate audio tracks, but they don't want me to send them a batch of files. They just want it in one single file. So I'll send it as a polywav file so they can drag the singular audio wav file, dump it into their editing software of choice, and then they'll have every single stem broken down there and then they can adjust the levels how they like it and they're not having to worry about multiple files or missing bits and bobs although you do have to send them a breakdown of what is what within that polywave file because you can't individually name stuff makes sense you'll see what i mean when we actually get into everything now you can't actually do this within at least Logic Pro X or a DAW that I'm aware of. If you are aware of a DAW that you can do this in, please let me know. It'd make my life so much easier. But I've done so much research on this and I wish I'd known this in the beginning because it would have made my life so much easier when a client was like, can you send this as a polywav? And I'm like, huh? And I couldn't for the life of me work it out. So anyway, let's get into the actual how to do this. So you're gonna need a piece of software called Wave Agent, that is this thing right here. Now it works on both Windows and Mac. The download link is like down here and you can, uh, well, if you click on that, you'll see the stuff you'll need, but links in the description as always. As you might have guessed, this is I don't know, a bit of a janky old fashioned piece of software, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So what's nice, this can actually split files into mono as well, which can be useful, especially if you're bouncing everything down in stereo. But the first thing you're gonna need to do before we even get into the software is make sure all your files are mono uh, because you can't combine stereo tracks if you kind of get what I mean, because as we explained in the beginning, you've got mono stereo than poly, so it doesn't make sense combining tons of stereo. I don't know, it took me a while to wrap my head around it, but it makes sense in the long run. So firstly, get all your tracks or stems into mono. I will show you an example. Let's actually jump into this bit over here. So we've actually got the wave agent already open on top we've got my files down here we can see where well, we've got my original stereo stems there but i've split everything down into mono what you can do actually is if you get your stem drag it in here and you can split it just split slash combine click on that and if you go to split poly and um, of course like where you want it process it the first file is always going to be left. The second file is always going to be right because uh, that's how it's kind of split in the stereo. Left is one, right is two. That's just how it is. <laughs> um, but once you've got all your mono files, we're just going to clear that and go down here. Here's all my mono files. going to drag all of those, dump them up here. And you can see they're all mono. They're all labeled. They're all there. You don't have to select every single one. You don't have to do that at all but my keyboard actually works to actually process it you just need to click split slash combine and then don't well actually go to combine mono don't split and then you have to go to manual don't do batch i don't know why batch doesn't work it's just how it is <laughs> go to manual you're going to want to name the file so i'm just going to do no one polyav select a destination uh, I don't want to stick it in the mono I'm just going to stick it in there choose and when we're in manual you'll see the little dot 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 because we've got eight different mono files 
I want that one to go file one on track one, file two, track two, etc., 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 and make sure that this is, you know, it's because you've split everything from stereos to mono. So my harp left and right, harp one left is one, harp one right is two. You don't want these all mixed up, otherwise you're going to be a bit all over the place and especially the person you're sending it to could get a little bit confused. So make sure left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Make sense? <laughs> I hope it does. And then process. So that's done. We now go to our file over here and we can see here, there's our polywav file. If I was actually to drag that into the software, it now says eight poly. That is our poly file. Let me get rid of this for now. Now, just to double check that everything is working and it's fine. And to kind of show you what it happens when you drag it into something like logic. So this is logic. We're gonna now drag that polywav file into here. I'm gonna drop it there, create new tracks and you can see we've just created eight tracks and we can see it's all split nicely that's my harp left harp right this is my second harp left and right that i believe is my room left and right and then i've got my voice left and right and what's important when you're sending this polywav to whoever that you have either just put it in the email just one to eight and put one is harp left harp harp one left, track two is harp one, right, track three, et cetera, et cetera, so that they understand that when they drop this in, what every single one of these is, and they can just go in and rename this and go, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you really want to put it to the test, of course, you're going to have to do all the panning now as well, because that's all mono tracks. And now if I was to hit play, which I can't because this is copyrighted music and not my copyright, um, it would work how it is. And it's a really nice, easy way to deliver it to clients. I say easy, it's, it's not easy. Not easy for us, but easy for them. And they like this and I feel it's important to know. And once you wrap your head around, as you've probably just seen the process, it's actually really quick and not the end of the world. You just have to start with monofiles, drag, drop, process. Bada bing, bada boom, done. I hope that's helpful. Uh, links to this horrible piece of software is in the description, um, but hopefully that's clear. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.